Mom, I am here for you, 100%. I sure hope you know what you're doing. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Carson presiding. I can't believe I had a final. Today of all days. Mom, slow down. I can't. No time. I have to be here for Mom. It sounds like they already started. I'm sure we can still go in. Molly. I'm so scared, TJ. Mom is charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder. She's looking at a possibility of 20 years in prison. Baby. That is the maximum sentence. She's not going to get that. We can't know that for sure. Alexis, she was a respected lawyer. She has a disease, alcoholism. She's trying to do the right thing now. The judge sees that. So, baby, you ready? I have to be. Hey, no matter what, we are here for your mom. Ms. Davis, you've been charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder. How do you plead? I plead guilty. Ms. Davis, do you understand the ramifications of pleading guilty? I do. Does the prosecution have any objections? None, Your Honor. The defendant's request is granted. Is the victim, Dante Falconeri, present? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I am. Mr. Falconeri, I've reviewed your statement of the events of January the 28th of this year, but written statements can sometimes be misleading. In light of the defendant's guilty plea, I'd like to hear your testimony now before I pronounce sentence. On the afternoon of January 28th, I was on the first floor of General Hospital and I witnessed a altercation between Franco Baldwin and Sam McCall. Uh, Mr. Baldwin's wife, Elizabeth, was also there. Uh, there were raised voices, and at one point it seemed that Mr. Baldwin was reaching out to grab Miss McCall. Was he threatening her? I don't know, Your Honor. I mean, it was pretty chaotic. But Miss Davis is Miss McCall's mother. Miss Davis came out of an exam room with a syringe in her hand, and she was headed towards Mr. Baldwin. I saw that, got in between the two, intercepted her, and that's when she got me in the chest with a syringe. Do you believe the defendant intended to assault you? No. No, Your Honor, I do not. Miss Davis was uh, not in her right mind. She'd been drinking, and her judgment was impaired. And yeah, you could say she chose to drink, but Miss Davis is an alcoholic, and she has a disease. And I believe that people struggling with substance abuse and mental illness should be helped, not punished. And I hope the court agrees with me and shows leniency because I forgive Miss Davis. And she is definitely not a threat to society. Thank you, Mr. Falconeri. You may step down. Miss Davis, do you have an allocution? I do. 